Well, next on the agenda, to get this rear wheel off, I can switch out that rear sprocket. bolt to hold it on, the brake and a stabilizer bar I guess you would call it. Oh, I got the rear wheel off. And then this water hub just slides right off as well. That's how it works. This big rubber gear looking thing. Okay, so this is how we got to get our Rocket changed. It looks like the first thing we had to do is bend these ears back. And we'll take the bolts out. See if we can interchange with our other sprockets. Well, I had to pop it in the vise to get these bolts out. They were torqued on like crazy. We got it. So we'll get this sprocket off and matched up with the other. I got the sprocket off of our hub here. Now underneath is the gold sprocket that we need. And I think I've got it pretty much lined up all the way around. But then when you look at the front here, Seems I can see the bolt holes a lot more here. Than here. You can only see the low dinky bits there. Quite a bit more there. And this thing has to be pretty well centered. So we're going to have to do something else to make sure we're a bit more squared, so to speak. The center hole on our new sprocket seems to be two and an eighth. So we're going to start off making a two and an eighth inch circle to be able to center our sprocket and then we'll go from there. Well if we want a two and an eighth inch hole we need to start off with an inch and a sixteenth. Alrighty, well we need to have the pencil mounted in here we got that set up for about an inch and a sixteenth and then we scrub out a hole with our compass and we'll, let's see if that's two, two and eight well it looks to be just a hair under an eighth We'll go just a hair bigger. But let's lay our sprocket on here and see how it looks. This is just a sample anyways. And this seems to be pretty good. Alrighty. Let's go from there. Alrighty, that was just on our scrap piece of paper. Now we'll use our same pilot hole. And we'll draw it actually on this piece of, I don't know what the heck this stuff is, this is a bumpy plastic board. And it's a scrap piece, but I figured it would hold a good point. I didn't want to use this plywood or uh, cardboard or whatever and have the point wall around. I didn't think it would be accurate. And then the sprocket off the, the bike. The inner circle ends up seems to be about let's go circle circle to make sure we're even. About two and three fourths. So we'll set the compass next and try to draw a two and three fourths circle on here from the center. That way we can center this on there. Alrighty. 
That looks to be about two and three fourths. Starting at the one, so we have a nice accurate spot to start from. Now we'll give it a try on our scrap paper. We don't want two and three fourths. That's the whole circle. We want let's see one and three eighths. That's way different. Alrighty, we got our secondary circle. Let's see if it's what is it? Two and three fourths. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty close to two and three quarters. Alrighty, that should work. Yep, I think that should do pretty well. Let's see if we can get that scribed on the other sprocket now. Alright, we've got, if you can see it in there, we've got our circle scribed on our board here. Now we've got our sprocket that we want centered on our original circle. Now we're going to draw the bigger circle on the sprocket so we can use it to center this on there. That way we can mark out the center hole and the four mounting holes on our new sprocket. Alrighty, I've got a bigger hole now scribed on our sprocket. So the sprocket is centered on the board and then now we have, we use the center off the board to make the bigger outline on the sprocket. Now we're going to lay the sprocket on here so we can mark out where the mounting bolts need to be. Alrighty, well after centering the gold sprocket on a board and then scribing a circle on the sprocket and then centering the gray sprocket on the gold sprocket, I've got it all centered and clamped down with vice grips. You can see up in there. You can barely see the edge of the pencil mark all the way around. The crazy thing is, is you can still see the, these circles, the edge of them holes, a bit more than the edge of ho these holes, just like you could kind of in the beginning. So maybe them original holes weren't drilled center or some shit okay I think we've got it centered now that's just a visual look at the other side and see how it looks start by uh, drilling out the four mounting holes and then we'll work on removing the center here. I found that the easiest way to get your pilot hole started for these is to start with the right size bit that you need and just use that as a guide and just drill a bit with that size bit and it'll mark the center of all, all your holes and then you can drill a pilot hole and start drilling. Alrighty, that should do it. Alrighty, we got our four pilot holes now. Now we know those are all centered. Like I said, we centered them with the bigger bit. Now we gotta drill out these to 3 8 holes size. And then we gotta get rid of this centerpiece. Well, it's finally out. A lot of drilling, hacking, and sawing. Our centerpiece is out. Now we can go to cleaning it up.